Hi Arzu. Good evening. Happy New Year. So, can you please confirm if I'm audible? Good evening. Uh, am I audible, Azu? Like, is my voice audible? Happy New Year. Okay, thank you. So, we'll just wait for a couple of minutes and uh, then we shall start. Uh, so, let's see. Let's give some time for people to join. Even if they don't join, we'll still do the live. So, let's just hold on for a couple of minutes. Hello, Shrishta. I am okay, Arzu. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? I hope you're safe and everybody is safe at home also. So, I'll just wait for, let's say, yeah, one more minute before we start. interesting topic yeah <laughs> yes i'm upset okay fine good to know because there are so many people who are getting affected again the season of covid is back like the flu season the different kind of season now we have covid seasons and uh, although i'm smiling and saying but the condition is very bad so yeah it's good to be safe please be safe yeah, interesting topic. Yes. So I think we can start and uh, people can join and all can watch the recording a little later. So a warm welcome everyone and uh, a very happy new year to all the viewers of Viropana. This is the first time we are live after the new year has struck. So please be safe everyone wherever you are. Again, the pandemic has uh, come to its full form, but don't panic. Don't be anxious. We have faced, we have seen the last two years and we will go through this together. So please be strong. So coming to the topic for the day again. Uh, yeah, an interesting topic. Yes, missing someone. I'm sure that each one of us have missed someone or the other in our life some point of at some point of time. So yes, uh, definitely most of the people would be able to resonate with this particular thing. Because either they are going through this feeling of missing somebody or they have experienced this. Almost everyone from child to an elderly person, each one of us are going through this. So uh, before even we get into the uh, little bit of psychology behind this uh, entire concept of missing somebody, it is very interesting, you know, wh why, what is this entire missing all about? So uh, when you're in love, and uh, yeah, what was that? That apni thakchin sir type hat uthiye chesheshta. Okay, so uh, when you are in love, what happens? And you know those physical proximity that touching somebody, hugging or kissing or any kind of sexual interaction, whatever it is, when you go through that, even talking to that <coughs> person, so you tend to your brain tend to. Uh, generate or uh, release <coughs> oxytocin and uh, dopamine and serotonin <coughs> i'm sorry suddenly something struck in my throat uh, so these three hormones are called the happy hormones or the love hormones which makes you feel extremely good so what happens when this person or when with whom you are experiencing this kind of cuddling or these good things when brain is getting used to it and suddenly this person disappears. Drink some water. I don't, I'm not sitting with water. So suddenly this person disappear in from your life. The problem is the brain has got used to those kind of this oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin and suddenly it's not there. So the level of all these good hormones of endorphins, everything goes down. And when it goes down, when this, uh, <laughs> when this goes down, hi, Aheli. Uh, so when this entire thing of, uh, 
of of there is this lack or the presence of the person is not there the brain starts the level of endorphin dopamine serotonin everything drops suddenly and then you start feeling very vulnerable very overwhelmed and uh, you might feel anxious you might feel a host of emotions which we'll talk about and this is what we call in a very simple language missing so we are actually not missing the person as such we are actually missing the end of the hormones which uh, gener which actually generated when we were with that person right so trust which also means that if those hormones are still there within our brain we would not miss that person you know so this is a very interesting thing so for example i am missing somebody and i know that there is no way that i can go back to or get back to that person because it is either not good for me or either the person like it, there is no way of reconciliation with that person and of course i miss that person i get into depression blah 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 but then when all these good hormones like oxytocin serotonin dopamine all these things there are also replacements of that so you can uh okay stretch and arzu shut up <laughs> so when uh, when these things are going on so if you suddenly let's say you start playing with a pet or you are with a child or do do anything which makes you feel happy suddenly this thing gets balanced this uh, only says that missing somebody is just a brain's way of telling that the hormone level have dropped down and how to handle that all of it is what we are going to discuss today so uh, i think there are a couple of more people have joined hi amar hi aheli i said hi hi to aheli also i hope you are well aheli so uh keeping that in mind uh, let us understand what exactly happens or how do we behave when we miss somebody now why am i talking about this behavior because people think this behaviors only come when you are either uh, either going through your uh, monthly cycles or you are going through uh, some kind of a terrible day at work so these are just the uh, excuses but actually when you miss someone how how do you behave uh, these are the things i will talk about the first thing is there can be this prevailing sadness that you might have you know you might just feel sad no matter what you are doing you are just not very happy about it you tend to be very sad about uh, you are just going with your life but there this you are fine and then suddenly there is sadness so they, they, it's just that it keeps on moving between the two scales every now and then so that is one aspect when you miss someone second thing is you tend to get irritated very easily you know uh, because you are already the there is so much of dip in this happy hormones that if anybody picks you like this much you react in a much bigger way that is not because that it's fault of that other person is because that already the level is here if somebody is picking it is going further below and that makes you react in certain way so you tend to remain irritated most of the times third is of course with irritation comes depression you just feel that uh, कुछ नहीं हो सकता मेरा एंड इट्स द एंड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आज बस बस मौत आ जाए इतनी काफ़ी है तुम्हारी याद ना आए दैट काइंड ऑफ फिल्म ही थिंग कीप्स ऑन हैपनिंग विद अस राइट आई एम जस्ट सेइंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स बिकॉज या आई हैव ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंस दिस थिंग्स सो इट्स वेरी फनी व्हेन आई से ऑल दिस थिंग्स नाउ एन अदर थिंग इज दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हाँ या लाइक आई एम मिसिंग यू राइट ना गुल्ली एंड सम ओके ऑल राइट सो another thing is about dreaming when you tend to miss somebody continuously for a long period of time you tend to dream about that person uh often you tend to see that person often in your dreams i'm not saying you have to but you tend to see this person in your dreams quite a long time this is like your brain's way of uh, handling the anxiety that is created because you are not getting that person in reality so that's why uh, it tries to kind of balance it by having you spend some time with that person that person is very near you when you are sleeping when you are dreaming like there is no barrier no problems so that is how the brain is trying to handle that that you tend to dream about that person relatable yeah absolutely another thing is uh, when you are continuous now this is uh, what we call law of attraction when you tend to dream about a person continuously or very often 
it is also a signal that the person is also dreaming about you now don't ask me why and how this is a very mysterious way that you uh, the law of the universe works they are thoughts of energy so when you are continuously and you know i'm not going to get into spirituality a lot but our souls do travel when we sleep so when all of this is happening and when you're continuously you're dreaming about somebody it's like a recurring dream it is also a signal that that person is also having similar kind of dreams about you maybe uh not the same content but that person uh, is it that true or that's a myth that's truth actually that's truth uh often people say that even today um when i uh i texted i dreamt about somebody uh one of my patients actually i just saw something and I wrote her something and then she responded that I just thought about you today, I was just about to write to you today. So what happens is this way, this this very, this very magnificent way that the universe works. But don't force yourself to dream about somebody so that you that person also tends to dream about you. It, it doesn't work through that force. It just happens in a very natural way that uh, you are also have seeing that and when you're continuously seeing that then the other person is also getting a signal so that this person is also missing you because there are a lot of people who have come to me for their dream analysis and when they have said that you know i haven't thought about this person but i don't know why i keep on dreaming about this person so my answer is maybe that person have dreamt about you quite a long time and that is a signal that that person is also having this kind of dreams all right next thing is definitely another thing uh, that might happen is insomnia because you're so depressed you're so sad uh, you are not getting those happy hormones that stops you from having good sleep at night so that is another thing and as i said before this there is this uh, this this thin line of uh, graph you move from happy to sad happy to sad you're one minute happy you're one minute sad you're one minute happy one minute sad People are very stereotypically, people say, if because these things happen mostly with women, people very stereotypically, they say that, you know, uh, PMSing. No, please grow up. There is a whole world that exists apart from PMS. Uh, this is called all this psychology, all this science is over there. So we there are common symptoms. Uh, these symptoms can be for depression. These symptoms can be for missing. These symptoms can be for physiological illnesses also. So uh, yes, one minute happy, one minute sad is just that fluctuation, uh, the fluctuation that happens because of these hormonal levels, right? Next is, uh, of course, less productive. You become very less productive. Uh, you, uh, you are not able to concentrate. You, that's why your productivity gets hampered. Or you, may, you are very productive apparently, but you make errors. The errors which you really don't make. So that is because your vision, your thinking, your cognitive ability is kind of clouded. Next is, uh, if you're not mentally well, chances are physiologically also you will tend to pick up some of the other illnesses. Because, you know, mind or body are connected and so is the spirit. So uh, if I'm not well, uh, I, I don't feel too well, suddenly you feel that there is stomach ache, suddenly you feel a headache, some, then this body pain. This is like your body's way of saying that, you know, something is not going right and the way brain and body are communicating, things are not working, okay? Next is, uh, when these things are happening, this is basically your heart's way of telling that, you know, you are kind of, dude, you're missing someone, you know. You might be not in touch with the person for various reasons. Maybe you're not able to because the person does not, the person is not alive anymore. Second, the there has been a major showdown between you or the other person and because of which you, your self-respect stops you from getting back to the person. Or you know, although you miss, this person is toxic for you. So it is important that you will maintain the boundary and will not let this person enter your life anymore to protect your own sanity. Whatever is the reason, it is very important to understand that uh, if your heart is constantly giving you signals, either you get in touch with that person or you have to find out replacements of the hormones. Because once the hormonal levels are up, then trust me, this person will take a back seat. So these these are just the triggers the problem is if our hormones are at a balance all the happy hormones are at a balance you will not feel so miserable or vulnerable that is how our body and brain works okay 
next is uh, another way if you will how you understand that you miss somebody something good happens and you really want to share the news with that person no matter what has happened with, between you two but then you stop because that person the chemistry or the history everything stops you from doing that that is another thing next thing is you become very emotionally frustrated you become very tired drained out frustrated you don't want to talk you get very easily overwhelmed by any situations you tend to cry out loud all these things are happening right next is uh this is my favorite i'll show you what exactly you do whether you're sitting or whether you're sleeping you tend to do like this clutching a pillow so what happens when you clutch a pillow is basically trying to give yourself back some kind of compassion uh you miss the hug right you miss the hug so this is one form of self hug this is like feeling that somebody is there something is there you're holding on to something so clutching a pillow is another thing while sleeping or while sitting suddenly you will see many people will sit like this it is just like giving yourself some kind of compassion back okay now this goes back because i need more backrest more than self compassion uh next thing is uh when you are missing someone you feel horrible i understand but when you get to know that person is not missing you at all you feel 100 times more horrible because not only you are missing that person but also you feel that your emotion is going for a waste and you are not able to control that so uh, i know many people are right now in uh, in a tra uh, time travel because they are going through those emotions i know those people so don't worry i will also tell you how to get over this so don't worry about that and finally uh, it is uh, normal to miss someone you know when you are alone when you are uh, when you are just not talking to somebody it's very normal to miss someone because we are social animals but when you are busy and doing something and you're still missing that person now that is something called true affection when you're really busy and you are still missing because let's say you miss some let's say aheli misses me a lot when she is alone but most of the time when she's busy she doesn't uh, like she can get her mind off that is okay that means it is easily i can replace that person with the uh, re like with any other thing which helps me to generate the same hormones but even when i'm active and i'm still continuously thinking about the person that means i have true affection for that so the, that is more than missing someone that is missing plus not able to get over somebody and not able to get over somebody is something which needs a separate discussion and separate kind of um, approach to deal with right so uh, what can we do that's the question is what can we do i will uh, there is no fixed rule of what you can do but i will say we usually miss people either when they are not a part of our life anymore either because they have passed away in that case i will start with that first uh, when people passes away and there is no point that you can get back to that person but the only thing you have is their memories uh, so the best way because i have gone through that uh, in my own life so that's why i could say that the best way is to first of all accepting anything that happens in our life there are two things that we have to maintain first is accepting and the second thing is changing what is dysfunctional but if you start challenging instead of accepting it becomes very difficult to solve such issues so first accept yes that person is no longer a part of your life accept it cry it out whatever you have to do happens and then when it comes to the changing part right that person is not there physically but that person has reached a stage where they can be anywhere around you you can feel their presence anything can happen you can uh, create those memories you can still spend a lot of time with them they are a part of your memory you have spent a good time they have passed on to the uh, other side of the world and you are just continuing because your work is still not done so slowly and steadily this grief gets a little better and you tend to maintain your life trust me research has proved that let's say after 4 5 years 6 years so many years have passed many people have said that Six seven years, people when they have gone through with their life, suddenly if the person who has passed away they come back, will their life be better? And the ans nobody could answer that because we are all a product of our habits. Once we make something our habit, when we get to you, 
you know live with that then again if something happens for which we made the change you will not be able to take that similarly let's say you had a relationship with somebody and this person have some kind of you know uh, some something happened and the person left your ex okay and after so many years the ex comes back and you feel that oh you have suffered two years for this person now this person has come back and your life would be great trust me it is not going to be great it's going to be horrible because you have grown in so many years and when you have grown you have actually outgrown the relationship and when you have outgrown the relationship you don't need that kind of person anymore in your life so if this person is alive and still uh, not a part of your life try to find out why they are not a part of their life if it's because of ego then uh, you have to take a call that what is more important to you uh, would you like to listen to your heart's message or you want to listen to your ego if it is because of self respect i would stand by self respect because some losing yourself in a relationship does not help you save any relationship trust me it does not and in the long run it fails miserably i have seen multiple cases like that if it is because that the person has been toxic or the person is toxic uh probably what you are craving for is connection and not attention from this person so it is very important that we have to build meaningful connection with other people who can who might not be able to give you this kind of attention but connection but something very different something more meaningful in your life so most of us are suffering not a lack of attention but a lack of connection so connect with such kind of people or very meaningful people who will help you to get back your self worth help you to trust yourself and most importantly help you with those hormone levels which will help you to grow third uh, other things which you can which can help you to increase your oxytocin dopamine endorphin serotonin whatever you want to call it is doing things that you like doing things that you love for example if you are a creative person you might love painting or reading books or listening to music or going for a solo trip anything do all of that to help that get back you might just tell me yes i love solo trip but when i go there i still miss that person that uh, over there so you have to constantly remind yourself that why that person is not a part of your life is if it's because of your good it is best to let them go because if you keep rereading the old chapter there will be no new ending about that so you have to let them go the train has come to a halt the station has passed if you keep looking back you will not see how many new stations are waiting in front of us so that is important if you think uh, there are other things that how you immediately if you want a rise in your uh, oxytocin level is pets dogs cats anything are uh, my favorite are dogs you a hug with a dog or playing with a dog is the immediate mood, mood lifter babies uh, kids chocolates um, talking to somebody like who will understand your you know you they don't need to be your lover they can be anybody who will just understand you sometimes you might just want somebody to listen to you so just find out make those kind of meaningful connection but it is important that uh, when you're suffering yourself please find out if that person is worth the suffering or not if that person is not worth the suffering it is important to let them go because we tend to ignore our red flags and when it becomes uh, maroon and we have suffered already it is not maroon because the flag has become bigger it has maroon because we have we have bled on that flag for such a long time so it is important to let go you will feel miserable for some time and then you will feel a lot lot lighter trust me it's important to know when to stop uh, <clears throat> dear zindagi one of my favorite movies i keep on quoting this line genius is to know when to stop so that's pretty much about missing someone and i would like to uh, end today's live with uh, three four lines that i read this evening it's in hindi jis mehfil ne mujhe thukraya ki uski qadar karke chale aage itni manzil padi hai chalo uski taraf ek nazar dale so on this note please take care everyone we'll be back with another live next week till then please take care of yourself mentally physiologically everywhere be safe and uh, a very happy new year once again to all of you take care bye bye